One of the most commonly requested items in City Skylines that's mostly missing from the vanilla game is parking lots. In real life, they're everywhere, especially in North American cities. But there are no good ways to build them in the base game. But luckily, there are options. Today, I'm gonna go over a few ways to build realistic parking lots in City Skylines. So we have this university in the city, and the parking lot that came with it is insufficient to cater to all of the students and staff. And these high density condo buildings are getting in the way. We must make room for cars. So time for some eminent domain. The first solution is accessible without mods on both PC and console. However, you will need the Green Cities DLC. If you don't have this DLC, don't worry. Most don't require it. And I've timestamped every method of creating parking. So feel free to skip around to see the various options available. To do this is a somewhat tedious process. You'll need to create two unit deep squares of commercial zones and select the organic and local produce specialization. As the zones grow, you'll need to delete the buildings until these assets show up. I recommend zoning in two by two or three by two sections. Then when the asset does spawn, make it historical. Repeat this process until you've filled your block. The main benefit of this method is that you don't have to download mods and it looks good from far away. But the drawbacks are that it requires a DLC. It can be time consuming. And if you don't have commercial demand, these won't grow right away. Also, Bruh. it's not the most realistic. They're only electric vehicle charging spots, so no accessible parking or even normal spaces. Next, we have a set of custom assets called parking lot roads. There's a bunch of different ones to choose from on Steam and I'll link the collection in the description. These are roads of various sizes with space built into place parking stalls. And you can add in accessible, EV charging, and regular stalls, both angled and straight. It's optional, but highly recommended to also download the parking lot snapping mod, which enables the straight placement of stalls along the edges of the roads with ease. Network Anarchy is a great mod to have too, as it allows the placement of the parking lot roads close together if necessary. And it's also a best practice to use the Move It mod to make everything the same height before placing the stalls. So you have a flat, even pad to work with. The main benefits of parking lot roads is that they're easy to work with and they look much more realistic. However, the biggest drawback is that they're pretty limited when it comes to shape. You can only do straight lines and they don't work well at an angle. An alternative to parking lot roads is what's called big parking lots. It operates in a similar way, but instead of placing the stalls on the roads, you'll create lots using different pieces. You'll use the border roads on the outside and then use the filler sections for the central drive aisles. You'll need to have one zone square of space between each filler section and then place in the stalls as if they were buildings. And you can connect it to the main road using drive roads. If you do get this section here where there's a little bit of extra land on each side, you can use the clipping remover and just place it anywhere you see clipping like that. Another thing to note is that for maximum realism, you'll wanna add in lights to the parking lots. I like to use Prop Anarchy's line tool function to get them placed evenly. The key benefit of big parking lots is their versatility because you can make lots of any size and shape. They're also super realistic, enabling you to build large sprawling lots. However, they are somewhat difficult to use and they require a working knowledge of the network anarchy and move it mods. So aren't friendly to otherwise vanilla players. They also use up a lot of nodes, which becomes an issue if you're building large detailed cities. Another somewhat vanilla option is to create your own parking lot buildings in the asset editor. While there's countless parking lot assets that you can download on Steam, the asset editor is available to all PC players. Typically, I like to use a park or playground as the base and delete everything from it, making a concrete surface and adding in stalls and lights to it. You can decide what you want the footprint to be and change the cost and if it requires power, generates garbage, etc. The main benefit for this is that you can create lots of small lots to sort of place anywhere you like, and you can do whatever you want with it in the editor. However, they don't look super realistic and still kind of have that vanilla feel. So if you're going for realism, they may not be the best fit for you, but they look great from a distance. Another option available on both PC and console is if you have the mid-century modern content creator pack. 
It comes with all these little carport assets in the parks menu. They are covered parking, so they don't work for making sprawling suburban parking lots, but they're great for near apartment complexes or anywhere else you want with roofs over them. Every single one of these parking solutions, even the vanilla ones, work best when you have the Move It mod installed, as you can easily maneuver any object in the game and make the parking lots fit into spaces and look their best. If you're having trouble with that mod or haven't tried it before, I made this video which gives a full tutorial of all of its best uses. So click here to watch and don't forget to like and subscribe for more quick tips.